Hey traders, John Howell here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin. Why I see a $24,000 Bitcoin, and then why I see that's probably likely to be the first level it's likely to go to, and then why I see a potential, a potential $18,000 to $15,000 level, possibly even lower in Bitcoin. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, before you guys start to rip my head apart or why you disagree and blah, 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 all this sort of stuff. Uh, firstly, uh, grab that $7 trading course. Guys, I've got a whole brand new, or a brand new breakthrough trading course. If you need help with the trading right now, you're struggling, you're confused, you have no idea what's going on in these markets. And make sure you grab that training course. Seven bucks, guys. 70 bucks. <laughs> Seven bucks. Right? Um, link in the description. Or go to johnsflashsale.com. Now, maybe you have a good old Bitcoin. What is going on with the good old Biddy? Right? Biddy, 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 Biddy. I was talking to a mate this morning, and my mate said he actually has a target of around 18,000. I can see where he's getting that level as from as well, too. So, mate. Uh, good old Emmanuel, <laughs> Emmanuel, 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 man, I uh, I can see where you got that eighteen thousand dollar level from. But also, guys, for everyone else that's watching, let me give you a bit of an update on what I see happening here on the good old Bitcoin. So, firstly, uh, we can see that we're actually broken out of this bit of a triangle pattern through here, and we're broken down. If I go and have a look at say the four hour chart, so four hours, we have a sideways. We still have this pennant or this triangle pattern broken down and we still have this head and shoulder formation in play the head and shoulder formation the projected target is around that 24 level so that's the that's just that's just using technical analysis of where it's likely to get to um, around that twenty four thousand dollar level that's where the market's probably likely to go to but also when i'm looking at that level sort of x marks the spot because if i open up my chart on a big picture here you can see we have support support we have this sort of longer term level of this longer term trend line coming all through here and we had all this bouncing of support 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 all support through there so you can see there's all this level of support this so this long term trend line comes all the way up and guess where it comes into comes into where comes into let's actually just do this up here comes right into around about that 24000 so not only this level here which is the projected target for the head and shoulders but it's also a long-term level source. So we're probably likely to get down to there. Now, here's the really interesting thing. Um, firstly, that's where I see it getting to because also that's when we started to see some really nice moves to the upside. So if I go down to my daily chart, we can see that we start we started to get vertical action around that sort of 24,000 level. So that's where on a minimum target to get down to. But also, if I open up my charts a bit more and, and do my... Good old Dubilaki thing, Dubilaki thing. My good old Dubilaki on Bitcoin. You'll be able to see that this level through here, which is probably just a bit above eighteen thousand, maybe a bit lower than that, but probably just a bit above it, which is around that actually nineteen thousand, nineteen twenty thousand. There's a bit of support down through there, and if these levels don't hold and we continue to flush down, which I don't know, it may, it may not. This is where I have. Look at this here. This is where. If it did get down to here, guys, it'd be a significant buy for me. We have this long-term, look at this here, this absolute, I'm just trying to, um, looking at the weekly chart now, guys, by, well, by the way, looking at the weekly charts. And as you can see, we had this level down through here. And look at all, once, twice, three, four, five, six weeks of bouncing off this level. And then the market rallies up through here. So if we do start to see a, a strong correction in the markets and we get a bit of a flush crash down to around this long-term level, that's probably likely to be a massive long-term strong buy. Now, I'm not saying it's definitely going to get down there, guys. And by the time it gets down there, it may be it may be around 18, it may be around 14, maybe 15,000, somewhere around about there. Um, but again, I'm not saying it's going, definitely going to get down there, but that's where the long-term level of support is likely to be based on uh, based on that. So once again, you can see this long-term level support. If we do start to drop down, uh, we have this, uh, again, this whole sort of area through here, 24 to 20 is a significant level of support. So, but if we do start to see some really, really strong sellers, it's probably going to get down to the 14 to 50 level. 
Uh, and then I see it actually holding for a while, and then I see another another probably rocket ship to the upside. So it's going to be really interesting, guys, to see what actually happens with Bitcoin. Let me know what you think below about the good old Bitcoin. I see a lot more downside to coming with Bitcoin, but I believe the drop is going to be a gift for people to buy. And then I see a and then I see another rip coming. I do believe it's going to go go be quiet, just like it did last time. You know, if I open up my charts a bit more here. You can see how, if I open up my charts, let's go auto, there we go. So you can see what happened here. We had the big move up and then the big move down. And then it went quiet for a year or two before we started to see another fireworks like this here in Bitcoin. So I do believe that it's likely to be uh, quite some time before we start to see another big boom in Bitcoin. Again, I could be wrong. Um, but... Uh, but with that being said, I do see uh, I do see now we've had a lot of a lot of uh, the big the big boom that's happened. We're probably seeing the top now for quite some time, the top for quite some time. But this dip that we're likely to see is probably going to be a gift. Um, and then I do see probably over the next couple of years we're probably likely to see another rip. And I say a couple of years, guys, because it may take 12 months for us to start to see another, you know, breaking above 42, maybe even get to 50. Um, or it may it may take a couple of years for that thing to you know just relax and. All that sort of stuff and then suddenly go off again so let me know what you think you think in the chat box below guys and uh make sure you subscribe bell button and grab that seven dollar trading course guys and i'll speak to you i'll speak to you guys real soon